Welcome back to our channel. In this video, let us write a Python program to count the total number of digit 1 appearing in all non-negative integers less than or equal to n. Consider n equal to 13. Total number of 1s appearing less than 13 are 6. The digits less than 13 with 1 are 1, 10, 11, 12 and 13. There is 1, 1 in 1 and again 1, 1 in 10. There are two ones in 11, 1, 1 in 12 and 13. So there are totally six ones. Now let us understand the algorithm before implementing the Python code. Before seeing the detailed algorithm, please subscribe to our channel if you have not already subscribed. So the outline of the algorithm is to count and add the ones individually in ones place, tenth place and hundredth place subsequently. So the first step is to get the formula to calculate the number of ones in ones place. I have listed the digits with ones in ones place. So if we see up to 10, uh, there is only one one in tenth place because up to ten the digit with one is only one. So hence only one in one place. Up to twenty the digits with one are one, ten, and eleven. But out of this three digits there is only one in one and eleventh ones position hence the number of ones up to 20 is 2 in ones place up to 80 there are 8 ones in ones place and at 81 we have 9 1 in the ones place so subsequently 8 x where x is greater than 1 there is still 9 ones in ones place. See at 80, 8 ones, 81, 9 ones, and this continues up to 90. That is why when x is greater than 1, it is still same count of ones in ones place. Hence, we can conclude that in ones place, there is an increase in 1 for every 10 digits. Number of ones in ones place we can arrive as n divided by 10 as it is unit place naturally divided by 10 plus modulus of n with 10 is not equal to 0. The right side is a uh, logical operation whose resultant is either 1 or 0. For example, consider the digit 80. So, on applying to this 80 by 10 is 8, modulus of 80 by 10 is 0, here 0 is equal to 0. That means the result of this operation is false. So, the number of 1's in 1's place for digit 80 is only 8. Let us take another example. Before that, let me clear this uh, screen. So, let me take a digit 83. As we saw, uh, for 83 where x is greater than 1, there shall be only 9 ones in ones place. So, 83 by 10 is 8 and 83 modulus of 10 is 3 which is not equal to 0. So, the result of this operation is true. Hence, the outcome is 1. So, 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. So, the number of ones in ones place for the digit 83 is 9. So, this is the first step to calculate the number of ones in ones place. 
the next step is to calculate the number of ones in tens place i have listed the digits with ones in the tenth place and if we see up to 10 there are 10 ones in the tenth place and up to 221 in 10th place, so on. And up to 800, there are 81 in 10th place. Subsequently, if we go up to 810, there is 811 in 10th place. So, hence we can say for 81x, if x is greater than 0, there are 81 plus x. That's x is in the unit place 81 plus x1 in the 10th place. So, the number of 1s in 10th place can be given as n divided by 100 because we are calculating the digits in the 10th place. Hence, n divided by 100 multiplied by 10 plus modulus of n with 100 as it is 10th place minus 10 plus 1 plus 1 because at the unit place there shall be 1 1 and the maximum of this result with 0 whose result with 10 we are going to take the minimum consider for example 8 1 3 so for 8, 1, 3, we are going to calculate the number of 1s in the 10th place. As per this formula, we will have 81 plus 3. That is 84, 1 in the 10th place. Let us apply and see. So, 813 divided by 100 multiplied by 10. So, we will have 80 here and n modulus of 100 is 13 minus 10 is 3 3 plus 1 4 so 4 uh, maximum value of 4 comma 0 is 4 and the minimum of 4 comma 10 is 4. So, 80 plus 4 is 84. So, the number of 1s in the 10th place is 84 by using this formula. Similarly, we have to continue calculating number of 1s in the 100th place and 1000th place. But we can observe that in terms of uh, digits at 1th uh, place repeat in group of 1 after an interval of 10. Similarly, 1 at 10th place repeat in group of 10 after interval of 100. This can be formulated as n divided by i multiplied by 10 whole multiplied by I, where i is incremented as multiples of 10. So, this is one instance because at one's place digit 1 is repeated in a group of 1 after an interval of 10. Whereas, at 10th place they repeat in group of 10 after interval of 100. And similarly, at 100th place they will repeat in group of 100 after interval of 1000. That is why n divided by i multiplied by 10, the whole multiplied by i, where i is incremented as multiples of 10. So, the next one that we have to consider is, if the digit at 10 is 1, then the number of 1s is incremented by x plus 1. Consider a, b, 1, x, where there is 1 in the 10th place, then uh, 10 occurrences of the number with 1 at the 10th place have taken place. Hence, we have to add 10 which is formulated as min max of n modulus of i multiplied by 10 minus i plus 1 um, compared with 0 and i. So, hence, we have to iterate 
from 1 to n by incrementing in multiples of 10. So, this can be formulated as n divided by i multiplied of 10, the whole multiplied by i plus n modulus of i multiplied by 10. So, we have to continue this iteration and adding it to get the number of ones in all the digits less than the number n. So, with this algorithm in mind, let us proceed to implement the code in Python. Coming back to the implementation in Python, the summary of the algorithm to get number of digits 1 in uh, appearing in all non-negative integers less than or equal to n is the summation of n divided by i multiplied by 10, the whole multiplied by i plus n modulus of i multiplied by 10 minus i plus 1 and it shall uh, be the uh, maximum value comparing to 0 and the result of this is the minimum with respect to i. So, here i is uh, iterating from 1 to n in multiples of 10. So, i is iterate from 1 to n in multiples of 10. So, the Python code is very easy once we understand our algorithm. Let us get the input value n uh, for whom uh, the number of digit 1 appearing uh, in all the digits less than or equal to n will be counted. So, get uh, the number to count digit 1 and store it to n. Let us call a function called count digit 1 by passing the uh, input n. So, diff count digit 1 shall take n as its input parameter uh, and return the number of 1s appearing in all digits less than or equal to n. For the Initialize the variable count to 0 which will have the cumulative number of 1s in all digits appearing less than n uh, and also initialize i equal to 1 and as we see i will be iterating from 1 to n. First time the count shall be incremented with the previous count value. So, count equal to count plus the formula that we have seen in our algorithm that is n divided by i multiplied by 10 the whole multiplied by i plus min max of n modulus of i multiplied by 10 minus i plus 1. So, for next iterate we will increment i in multiples of 10. So, we will execute it and I will provide the input as 13. As we know there are 6 ones and let me give one more example 80. The total number of ones in 80 is 18 and let me give 800. The total number of ones in 800 is 260. So, this is a simple code to calculate the number of ones in all digits appearing less than n. Hope you like the video. Please subscribe to our channel and share with your friends. In the description, I have given the link for other such programming logics.